John's not the only one waiting for the VIPs. John! John loves me! Word has got out that the boy band Blue are flying out to Australia tonight, and Terminal 4 is overrun with teenage fans. They're just kissing and slobbering over each other by the looks of things at the moment in the hotel. So once that's all over with, I'll walk back with them. All right then, OK, thanks now, bye. As Blue are a famous boy band, John will give them the full VIP treatment. I think we've sorted out our aircraft things. Should be going on time. OK, that's good. Luck. There's an itinerary I forgot to give you. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> Little does John know the terminal is steadily filling up with fans. Escort duty is normally a simple job, but tonight it's beginning to look like it might get out of hand. John's about to discover just who is lying in wait for him and the band. There's like 100 fans, mate. There's about 100 fans. <laughs> the bass city rollers all over again. The fans' enthusiasm has engulfed the band. John's escorting duties aren't going to plan. It's a bit difficult for me to control for me to control them. Because they're not they've just come uninvited. Somehow, John has to prize the band away from their fans to get them to the plane on time. I think I've sorted something out. Um, right. I'm gonna have to take them straight airside because there's gonna be a riot. In Terminal 4, no one's taking any notice of John, and the band seem to be enjoying the attention. If they come with follow me. Shaking off a hundred screaming fans isn't easy. Let's get an airside, let's get an airside. There's only one of me, don't forget. <laughs> Once John gets the band blue through to departures, it should be plain sailing. John has now managed to mislay the band somewhere in departures. Finding them amongst the shops, restaurants, numerous lounges, coffee bars and toilets could take a while. I seem to spend my life searching for people in this airport. Not in the pub, no. I cannot imagine where they are. Qantas, John speaking. We've come down to the other lounges, but I don't, I don't think they're here at all. All right, OK. All right, well, I'll just go and have another scout around then. All right, John. OK, thanks. Time's running out for John. Must have gone somewhere. Ah! Two of them. Excuse me, chaps. Sorry about that mayhem out there. We lost you. If you go to the terraces lounge, they're expecting you in there. You can have a bit of a relax. John is desperate to corral the band Blue and their manager into one place. Just over there, one C. Right when you're done, and it's the lounge. You just wait in there, and they'll send you to the aircraft. Okay, see you in a while. Whew. Ah, I've told them, lads. Oh, I didn't tell him. I saw. The, oh, yeah. If you go in the terraces lounge, they're expecting you in there, and then they'll send you out for the departure time. I just bought a really thick hat because it's really hot over there. I'm clever. And hopefully, I'll turn up for the flight on time. 
But uh, I think we're we'll trying to get everybody else on now. We're going up here to gate two. Sorry. Number two, boys. Number two. At last, John's escorting duties are nearly over. Thank you very much, Phil. That's all right. Well, I'm sorry about the mayhem outside. I just... I lost everybody then. Is this your first time to Australia? Oh, excellent. You'll love it. I know, but I'm a bit scared, though, because it's so far away. No, it's, you'll love it. I sure. promise. You'll love it. OK. All right, chaps. See you soon. All the best. Have a good trip. See you when you get back. See you when you get back. All the best. Let's look after those passengers for us. I'm sure you will. All right. Take care. Cheers. Food. All right. Oh, out of the way. Blue know my name. That's good, isn't it? John, John.